Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button. I have hundreds of videos of different makes and I know you'll enjoy them. It's a really good resource for if you're just curious about cars or if you're actually looking for a car to buy. Okay, so I'm here at East Coast Volkswagen in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to show off this awesome 2015 Volkswagen Golf GTI with the performance package. So this is just looking at this car, I'm excited because I like small cars to begin with, but I also, and I used to have a Volkswagen Golf back in the day and I loved it. And you know, this one is all about performance and it's a fairly small car, but man, is it roomy on the inside. And one of the first things that pops out at you is these sweet 18 inch wheels. They have that five spoke design, really sporty looking without being too busy. They're kind of, uh, you know, kind of a simple design. Plus you have the high performance caliper brake system in there with four wheel ventilated disc brakes. The ventilation, and you notice that the rotors are huge. But the, uh, normally cars have ventilation, ventilated disc you know, rotors there in the front, but this one has it in the front and the back. And when I'm referring to the ventilation, I'm referring to the space between there to allow air to flow in and out and also you have more actual mass of the metal to um, to hold and release heat okay so that is awesome you know what's one thing's missing on this car and that is tint it needs the uh, the windows need to be tinted and then it'll be it'll be perfect okay so let's take a look here in the front so there's a lot to say about the front here it has a daytime running light that are kind of u-shaped halos I guess you can say and they do have projector headlights and I think pretty sure that they're powered by halogen bulbs I uh, haven't been able to confirm or deny that but um, I'm pretty sure it's halogen and then you have parking sensors across the front plus you have a, a sensor here for your uh, adaptive cruise control and we will look at the engine in just a few minutes, so be patient. It's got the GTI badge there. Get you a view from this side. Okay, so we're going to check out the inside, but before we do that, I just want to show you what the key looks like. And this particular key is a what they call a proximity key you don't actually have to take this key out of your pocket. The vehicle will sense this key within a close proximity of the vehicle. You can lock, unlock the doors, as well as start the vehicle, drive it, all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna put the key, it does have a backup key as well, this little switch blade thing here, but you don't even need to use that. So I'm gonna keep that in my pocket for the rest of the video. And like I said, you can lock and unlock the doors. So to do that, to lock it, all you'd have to do is put your finger here. To unlock it, you just put your finger, your hand back here. It senses the key and it senses the position of your hand. So right now it's running, so it's not going to lock or unlock uh, from the outside. So putting my hand here will unlock it and I can just enter the vehicle. All right, so here's the inside of the passenger door. And what's really cool about uh, like sporty cars like this is they have this this one has the contrast stitching the red and then you have this um, kind of a shiny trim there with a metallic trim to it especially the the handle then you got this trim right here popping out the metallic trim in here is like a carpeted surface on one side and then plastic on the other and that's where you put your bottle you know your, your water bottle or you know whatever you want to put in there all right, let's take a look here. You have that uh, metal threshold with the red stripe in, in the middle. And check out the seats. They have some really good bolstering without being too intrusive. Uh, so it's not that hard getting in, in and out of the seats. Sometimes the bolstering is a little bit too high or something like that. This one has really you know, comfortable seats, of course, but uh, it's not, not that bad getting in and out of this vehicle for sure.
All right, so the glove compartment, and look at the leg room. I mean, you got plenty of room. But the glove compartment is very interesting. It's a felt lined, and you have a place to put like business cards right there, maybe a credit card, some change there. But up here, you actually have there's your your, uh, your CD player. You have an SD card input, place to put some I guess credit cards or something there, and some change. It looks like some quarters. That would probably help out for going through tolls and stuff. Um, and that's, you know, that's what it looks like to me. Also, you see this dial here. This dial, you can turn it and you can feel air conditioning come out. So it's air conditioned. You can have it turn on or off, but it's an air conditioned glove compartment. So that's pretty cool. So if you uh, have something in here that's just, you know, heat sensitive or something like that, you can, I guess you could put like a cold, you know, cold drink or a cold bottle of water and you can kind of keep it somewhat cool in there while the vehicle's running. Alrighty, so you have some uh, manual adjustments on the seat, plus you have the tilt, which is electric, and also the lumbar support, which is here. Alright, so let's continue on to the back. One thing about the Golf is they've always had really excellent headroom and plenty of room in the back seats so you're not going to feel claustrophobic with a plenty of space back here so getting in and out of the back seat uh, you're not bumping your head you're you know you're comfortable of course your leg room is very limited if the front seat's all the way back like like that one is i put that one all the way back so you can see how you know the it, it shrinks down your leg room, but the chances are uh, you would have to be, you know, like six foot six or something like that to actually reach the pedals when you had the seat all the way back like that. So if you have, <laughs> if you, if the driver is six foot six, then what I'm saying is you're not going to be able to fit a um, in the back seat unless you've got like a car seat or something or really tiny legs. Okay, so here's the inside of the back door. You can say it has the same styling as the front. All right, so these seats are the same quiet quality as the front. They also have this armrest and cup holders. There's a path pass through to the trunk if you wanted to use that uh, to access stuff. And you notice it's a lot bigger than a lot of pass throughs, so that's pretty cool. Also, you can also just fold down the seats if you wanted to, so the whole seats can fold down, and that way it'll. Uh, give you a cargo capacity is like double and you notice it is you know wide open there there's no uh, like barriers there so um, you can actually it's more usable space and since it's 60 40 split you can have a combination of driver uh, passenger space and cargo space okay so here is the um, fuel door and to open it you just push this button right here but the fuel cap unscrews I'm not going to do it since the vehicle's running and so this unscrews and at the end of the uh, cap there's a little just a little um, stud that sticks out the other end and you can just stick it in this hole right here so that way you have a place to put your cap while you're pumping your gas and it's completely out of the way and it's not hanging down scratching your paint and it's you know it's tethered and everything so it's not going to drop so i thought that was pretty neat let's take a look here in the back dual exhaust chrome tips and you have the parking sensors across the back you also have a backup camera so let's go ahead and take a look in here now you're probably thinking, where's the handle? The handle is actually here. You just push that, and this lifts up. Isn't that neat? All right, so here is the trunk space. And you notice it has this, this shade, which you can remove that if you want to, in case you need some more cargo space. It's very light, um, basically, to keep the, little, you know, keep the sun from shining in there, but also keeping people from looking at your stuff. So you have a little storage pocket there, you have one over here, 
you got some tie downs you also have a 12 volt power supply here and under here is your spare tire which this one does have some vehicles do not have that you also have a subwoofer so this has, one has the you know premium sound system with the subwoofer right there on top of the tire it's I don't know if you can notice that that black thing on top of the tire is the subwoofer so that way it's out of the way completely out of the way it's utilizing space that would normally go wasted take a look here at the window sticker you can use the pause button if you want and if you can't read it then you need to <clears throat> turn the video on HD because everything I do is especially here recently is in 1080p so you should be able to see everything in full detail let's go ahead and take speaking of that let's take a look at the engine in full detail So opening up the hood, just under here, a little bit to the right, uh, there's this, it doesn't feel like anything, it's a little latch and you lift it up. And it's actually this right here, you just push that. Isn't that cool? Very simple. Alright, so this one has the 2.0 liter, 4 cylinder engine, dual overhead cam, and you got get to see the turbo too. The turbo is back there. In the back, we have the intake there in the front. And it has a little plastic cover, which I'm not going to complain too much about that because I get to see at least the turbo and the part, part of the engine anyway. So <laughs> I prefer to see the engine when I lift the hood, not plastic covers, but that's just me. Also, it has a insulation around the battery here which uh, helps out with the longevity of the battery. Uh, heat is not a problem with batteries typically, uh, car batteries. It's the cold that uh, they get them. So that's what you know, the, the insulation is for. All right. Okay, so let's take a, take a look on the inside in a little bit more detail. All right, here we are on the inside. And this is a really cool car love it absolutely love it let's go ahead and start over here on the door so you have your power windows down here and you can you know have, lock out the power windows if you don't want them to be rolled up and down you do have the same big pocket on the driver's door as you do the passenger there's your handle <clears throat> lock your doors there to adjust your side mirrors, you just use this little joystick. You just have to choose right or left. And then once you adjust it, you keep it in the very center position. And then that way um, it will not get you know messed up. All right. So, okay, so here's the headlight controls. And so basically it has an automatic setting. You can have the parking lights and then the headlights. If you want the fog lights, to turn on you just pull this out and on the automatic setting and then that way the fog lights will turn on with the, um, the headlights so that's how that works and here's a dimmer switch for the interior uh, lights you can um, make them brighter or dimmer and that's the interior uh, dash lights where the gauges are have a nice big pocket here place to put a quarter or something there or an SD card or I don't know what the that's particularly for but um, it looks like a a place to put a quarter or something but it could be an SD card as well all right so let's take a look here at the steering wheel it is a flat bottom red stitched on the inside steering wheel it does have some neat bolsters and the the it has a little bit of a little bit not quite round shape on this side it's round on the other side but it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a sharpness I don't know if you can tell on this side so it has like this really unique feel to the steering wheel and it's a real tight wrapped leather quality and then you have this shiny metallic thing going on around the steering wheel which looks awesome so let's go ahead and start here on the left has quite a few buttons and this is your cruise control 
so you can uh, you know once you turn it on and off here you can set it resume you can adjust your speed with these two buttons here and then you can cancel it here these buttons are for your volume for your radio so you can make it louder or not so that's separate from your cruise control so here on the right side of the steering wheel uh, this is kind of a mixture of different things so on the radio here you have the ability to kind of cycle through different presets with these buttons here and then you can go up and down on different uh, different screens like right now they're the you're only able to go left and right but uh, on certain screens you might need to go up and down unless you're up and down buttons and here in the center corresponds with this screen here in the middle <clears throat> and so I'm gonna go left and right on this screen it just basically has this left and right and then an okay so I can you know scroll right and left and get different information about the telephone the radio uh, the vehicle status like say if the doors open or something and then um, it does have a lap timer which is pretty cool which you can you can start it and stop it there and then uh, you know driving data this will give you um, like your miles per hour stuff like that uh, this one has the driver assistance package and in the front of the car that little black box in the center I got that confused earlier and I mistakenly called it for the adaptive cruise control because that's what a lot of them look like but this one actually has it that's a sensor for when you're moving forward it can sense things in front of you in addition to the parking sensor so it has a really advanced parking system to keep you from actually hitting anything so that's 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 what this is talking about you can turn that on and off and then you can see the compass um, like so okay and also um, while we're here at the gauges you can see it's a really kind of simple design um, the gauges you have your RPMs there to the left with your temperature which gives you ex exact number which is pretty cool and then your fuel gauge there on the right with your speedometer and that look at the speedometer it goes up to 180 miles an hour that's amazing okay so back over here just want to point out that it has the Bluetooth system and once you pair your Bluetooth phone you can make calls and receive calls this is for to make I mean to receive a call like say if somebody's calling you through the Bluetooth system you can push this button to answer it you can also when you're done you push it again to hang up to make a call you will push the voice recognition button and say call somebody that happens to be in your phone book uh, also you can push the button to say to call to, to I mean to go to a specific radio station so the voice recognition button has a multi function it's not just for your phone alrighty so there's your turn signal also for your um, high and low beams there on the right side this is for your uh, windshield wipers okay so let's go ahead and look at the radio it is a touchscreen radio and you know it has the traditional volume button on the left tune through the stations knob on the right and um, so you notice it has some it's a touch screen but also has these quick access buttons around the edge so pushing band will change from AM to FM and to satellite radio uh, you can also push the media there's no nothing in there now but uh, you can like play music through the CD player you can also play music through um, you know, there's multiple different sources one of them that's really convenient that a lot of people use is the uh, Bluetooth um, to where once you pair your phone with the system you can actually if you have music on your phone you can just play music right directly off your phone but there's a I'll, I'll show you there's a port where you can plug in uh, pretty much anything USBs or, or iPods or anything I'll show you that in a few minutes uh, this is where you would you know connect your phone and once you connect your phone you have access to your phone book uh, making calls and all that stuff all right, the voice, that's for your voice recognition. Uh, you can mute um, a call or, or if you're in a call there. Uh, you can adjust the sound, like your bass and treble, stuff like that, fade. This is the car status, and it's just basically would let you know, like say if a, if a door is open or something like that, see it pops up there. And, um, and you can go to the right there, which gives you a little bit more information about the 
uh, tire pressure monitoring system and um, so basically you can reset it so if you change your rotate your tires or if your tire is low and you repump it with air you can reset it here and those are the two options there there's a whole menu system where you can choose quickly choose you know any of the particular ones that we just went through including the settings here okay so down here is your climate control uh, it also has heated seats here in the front your air conditioning uh, your temperature your fan speed and where you want the air to blow pretty basic system there uh, easy to you know easy to use in here is that little port I was telling you about to plug in different types of media and it, it requires a, a um, like a cable or something that plugs in there and you have this pretty cool pocket here and it's, it looks perfect for a cell phone so let's check it out with my cell phone see if it fits in there oh yeah fits right in there and I have a really big cell phone so you know mine fits in there pretty much anybody's will okay so to start the vehicle actually there's the start button it's a silver pretty cool silver button there so I'm going to um, turn it off to show you uh, since it's a manual transmission you do have to push in the clutch you see it has the bright pedals down there and uh, a place to put your foot which is really nice anyway I push in the clutch I push the brake also and then I push this button it starts up do you have to have the key with you the key has to be in the vehicle of course and um, so that's how easy that is now here's the shifter it is a six-speed manual transmission and uh, so reverse is all the way to the left and up and so let's say I wanted to put it in reverse uh, if I had to push it to the left and up that's actually first gear so I can um, the only way to put it in reverse you have to push the whole shifter down and then put it all the way over and then up now I'm in reverse okay so being it when you put it in reverse your parking sensors will pop up there plus your backup camera and you have some guidelines there that show you um, you know how about how wide your vehicle is and also you know your limit to getting close to something now you notice um, it has that red line and the red line is you know that's your limit is what I'm, that's what I'm getting at there's a slight distortion with the lens as it is a wide-angle lens so the guidelines kind of help you, um, you know, work out that distortion because uh, real close to the vehicle, it looks like you have plenty of room, but it's really stretched out. So it's only a few inches when it looks like a few feet. But you also have these parking sensors all around the vehicle. So if anything gets close to you, uh, you'll definitely be able to, you know, it'll beep at you and let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back out. And I'm going to, out of reverse, put it in drive. And you notice this pops up. And this is your park pilot, is what they call it. And you can see, um, as I turn the steering wheel, you'll see these lines move and give me an estimated trajectory as I go forward. So as I'm going forward, if there's something in the way, it's gonna beep at me and flash there if there's something in the way. So it's a really advanced uh, parking system in this vehicle. So definitely don't wanna damage your car uh, parking it. So this is a, a really good, option to have the driver assist package um, when you know parking your vehicle all right so of course you know there's first second third fourth fifth and six so you have you notice it doesn't go too far you know it has a kind of a short throw um, shifter and then the shifter itself kind of looks like a golf ball which is a golf so that kind of matches that's pretty cool so around the shifter, uh, besides the start button, we have this drive mode button. And the drive mode button, we can push that and it'll pop up here on the screen. It'll show comfort, normal, sport, and individual. So uh, comfort is, you know, it's going to give you the uh, most comfortable steering and, and all that stuff. And, you know, and, uh, and normal. But let's go to individual. Of course, you know sports is for your um sport is for your aggressive driving you know but you can go in here and you can adjust your your front differential lock you can adjust that your engine i guess the way uh is much uh, the responsiveness i'm not really sure the steering it has electric power steering that's fully able to adapt itself to your speed and stuff like that so if you want to have you know easier to steer you can you can do that and um, 
and then your front lighting I guess you can you can let's go into there I'm not sure I guess the sport would be a brighter light so I'm not really sure what that's all about maybe you know you can tell me but anyways this is a pretty cool feature um, of you know custom you can customize it as an individual you know basically I would call that a custom screen um, or you could just go with the three presets there that's what the different drive modes are for your traction control system you can turn that on or off I mean it's on all the time but you can turn it off if you need to spin tires and um, you know if you're usually if you the only time you want to do that is if you're stuck and you need to spin tires or something like that your parking sensors if they're just beeping at you and the, and you know you know you're getting close to something you can turn those off there so here's your parking brake um, it's wrapped in plastic now but it is a, a leather wrap handle okay so you have a power supply which is actually oh okay I thought it was a cigarette lighter it's just like a, a plug to keep that stuff from going in there but it has this place to put a card like your credit card or something there and a place to put some some coins there and like I said before I don't know if these are you know some of these places are also for the SD card since you do have the SD card port in there um, I'm not sure if that's you know gonna work as well but maybe you know and you can tell me so here's the cup holder and it has little things here that, that take up the slack for different size cups armrest um, you know decent size not too big not too really small but it lifts up and it has this little pocket here with a 12 volt power supply in it as well rear view mirror has this little flippy day and night mode it's not an automatic or anything you do have to put it manually in your in your night mode so up here we've got some tap lights if we want to have some lights here we can have you know turn on lights on like so and you can turn on the rear have the rear light on and off and then this is for if you want the lights to turn on and off when the doors open so like say right now the doors open but the night lights turn on but right now they are on so right now if I shut the door they turn off and I like the way they fade out that's pretty cool this is for your sunroof and we'll get back to that place to put your shades and it has like a rubber uh, protection inside real soft rubber for the to keep your glasses from getting scratched now here's some information uh, information screens now these will actually call people so um, you know I'm not going to push those so you get you can get information directly from Volkswagen from like an operator this is if you need repair service I think and this is for emergencies up here is um, inside here is your Bluetooth phone uh, the Bluetooth microphone all right so let's check out this huge sunroof now it has a shade which you can still see through so it lets some light in so you can open this up in this massive sunroof and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like You can bend it like that if you wanted to. I like the way it lifts up. The whole thing just kind of lifts up. That's pretty cool. Or you can just close the shade if you want to have less light in the vehicle. So the visors have these mirrors and a light. Pretty soft light that comes on. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's take a look back here. Let's see the visibility. So what do you think about this car? I think it's pretty neat. Um, I'm not 100% familiar with all the features in the Volkswagen, but because um, I'm not used to driving one every day or you know have, don't have a lot of experience with them, but I just overall, it's a very impressive car. It uh, <laughs> with the turbocharged engine, the 220 horsepower. Um, it's like 270 or 280 foot pounds of torque. It's very very impressive it's a massive amount of torque and with the locking front differential 
I mean, that's just, you could just blast out of the hole. I mean, you could just really take off fast without worrying about spinning tires and all that stuff. All right, so if you have any experience with this vehicle, please let us know in the comments. And uh, maybe you took one for a test drive, maybe you own one, uh, maybe you're thinking about buying one. Let us know your experience in the script in the in the comment section, and if you have any comments or clarifications, you know, of course, it's possible I can. You know, there's a couple things I wasn't really familiar with, so if you can, you know, so make the clarifications, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and thank you to East Coast Volkswagen for allowing me to show off this epic, awesome car. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.